You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Welcome back, ma'am. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out, Commander. You've received a new message at your private terminal. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. 
She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. If we have time, we'll deal with it. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of, even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. I need my crew to be good at their jobs and keep their personal lives personal. I understand. Nonetheless, if there is time, I would like to go to the Afterlife nightclub on Omega. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. If there's time, maybe we can go to Omega. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant. But... Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sidonis. I'll let you know, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if they're... Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. No messages for you, Commander. Anomaly detected. Welcome to it. Repeat, there's a piece of crap mech on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it to work, you're freaking welcome to it. Welcome to it. Repeat, there's a piece of crap. Probe away. Something on our sensors.
large supply of resources buried deep within the canyon walls. Heavy explosives will be required to excavate them. for the moment. Headed for combat. Systems active.
have detected an anomaly. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure. Launching probe. Scans have found something.
we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue, or have the Volus finally rolled to the top? And don't miss our look at the fashion faux pas at the Commerce Awards held last week. All this and more on Financial Entertainment Daily. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after eating prime. Hey, for two episodes. Life can be uncertain. That's why you need an Omnigel programming solution that works. Whether constructing single-use equipment or breaking down salvaged gear, Scission technology will be there for you. There are some problems Omnigel can't solve. For everything else, there's Scission technology, the division of Elcos Combine. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Liara Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2.
The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. You're still alive? I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Just be glad you're still breathing. What happened? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Someone's here to kill Nasana. I need to find him. I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> but that explains. The Merc said there was no time. The Sana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nisana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving.
going dark. Hey, I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the Santa's not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Uh... Unit member offline. <laughs> Orders acknowledged. Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? I'm looking for someone and you're not him. But is it safe to come out? Seen anyone suspicious who isn't a merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. That's sweet. An assassin with a heart of gold. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. 
And Asana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. If you don't like the work, just leave. Easier said than done. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. She's a... That's an understatement. She's I wouldn't stay here too I was long. just thinking the same thing. And tell your assassin to aim for her. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! What are the odds that elevator's gonna be empty when it gets here? Slim to none. Let's be ready for him. Mezzanine, have a pleasant stay. Burn, bitch! Fine! I'll kill them myself! Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. How about goodbye? Damn. I could take notes from you, Shepard. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! That's really not a good idea. I don't want to hurt you, but I... Hurt me? I hardly felt a thing. Tell him! Slow and easy. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? 
I've shot a lot of mercs today, but I can't take credit for him. Then who did? You tell me. What happened? The merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. Clean shot. Very nice. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Damn it! You're toast! Weakening their integrity! Here they come.
Going dark. Weakening their integrity. Ha! Eat it! I'm sending in reinforcements. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nasana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You. Stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who... Nice entrance. I just tore this place apart looking for you. The least you can do is look at me. Prayers for the wicked must never be forsaken. Nasana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? There's a race out there called the Collectors. They've been abducting humans. I'm gonna teach them why that's a bad idea. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission. <laughs> yes, a suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. 
Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough, and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. You're here because I need a good gun. Cross me and we got a problem. I came here to do a job for you. I didn't have to. And I can still leave. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Jacob. We need him, but that doesn't mean I trust him. Let me know if he turns into a problem. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. A lot of women like you? Men like Thane aren't really my type. I like you more and more each day, Shepard. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks! Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? That's it for now. See you, Commander. something. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Can't they do something about that? 
The Hammer have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to 12 months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. You don't act like a dying man. You have the advantage there, Shepard. You've already died. Perhaps later you can give me some suggestions. I can do nothing to alter my fate. One advantage of my training is that I've always, to some degree, considered myself dead. Thank you for your concern. Trust me. This won't affect my performance. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Let me know if you want to pursue that. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment My possible. My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Let's see what Would they've like. got. Let me know if you want to pursue that. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. 